What's up traders, Marco here from 113fx.com and today is trading journal day. Okay, so this is a really nice day for me. I made a lot of profits and I'm really happy to share them with you. I hope you will actually learn something from them. And if you have any questions, just write a comment below in the video section in the video this comment section or visit our site elementaryfx.com. You will actually be able to contact us on that site. Also, we have some really nice uh, trading plans. All right, you just check the site and everything will be there. Okay, so I want to start straight to the to the trades I closed last last week and today also. The first trade was USD CAD. As you can see, we have basically two channels. All right, everything is written right here. Okay, I always add a description to my trade so everyone who can see who sees the trade actually gets a clue of what I'm doing. But anyway. There were, there were two channels, the pink one, all right, which is a bigger channel, and there was this blue one. All right, uh, price actually broke to the blue channel, which is a flag pattern, okay, so we have a pull, retracement, and usually pattern should complete to the pull length, which is right here. As you can see, we have two clues, okay, the first one is that with a feeble level starting from the pole length to the pole height all right we have a feeble confluence a feeble extension confluence 1.272 okay so we do expect price to reach this point later in the future but for now we want to focus on this channel all right the pink one because it is the biggest one and for sure it will have more strength to actually push down the price so price price broke to the blue one tested the pink one and the pink one pushed it back retesting the blue one all right so at the channel of touch right here i went long with the stop loss really tight 37 pips okay enough to actually uh, let the price play some and focusing for first this channel touch the pink one and for second we will focus on this extension all right anyway let, let's play and as you can see price uh, spiked up touching this channel now I see now price is going higher. Unfortunately, I closed this trade. Let me get it to you. It, this was USD CAD. Yes, it is actually spiking higher right now. Okay, let's get a review right there. Okay, so price went down, retouched, and we actually want to focus on this channel. Now price is actually breaking higher. What I want to do right now is to wait price to break higher a bit, right? Retrace, retesting this pink channel and then go along again, focusing on this one, all right? In the end of the story, we've got 85 pips. I didn't get the maximum pips because uh, I, the, I moved the stop, the take profit to this level, okay? But unfortunately, I saw that there were many dodges in the first couple of hours, like right here. So I stopped the trade at 85 pips profit. Okay. As you can see, price now is spiking up. I do really want to actually enter the trade, but I still have to wait a confirmation right here. Okay. Probably we will see this trade uh, in a couple of days. Let's move on. That was 85 pips trade, as you can see. Okay. Everything is written there. 85 pips trade. A lot of things are coming on trading view this time. Oh, wow. Uh, this is our trade going right now. 
this is a uh, an overview of the trade this is a trade going on going on right now uh, both of these trades are in profit 20 pips each all right god damn it stop it okay next trade is usdshf same old story priced reach the bottom of the channel and we focus on the other we would go i i focused on this resistance because it was the safest place to actually take profit okay so let's play it and we've got 30 35 pips okay plus the 85 pips of before it is a really nice and a really nice 120 pips okay so that was USDCHF uh, we covered this last week all right this is uh, this was a preview we actually got it it was a preview okay we, with a perfect preview okay as you can see we focused right here with a reversal and the channel touch okay uh, we already covered this we already covered this we already covered that Yes, the yen. That was uh, this is a two week long trade. All right. So basically, uh, we had the touch on the channel. Okay, as you can see here, it's explained better. We also added some stop loss to let the price play. And in the end, we got 135 pips. We focused this really nice uh, resistance because it. It was uh, a really strong resistance in the past okay so we focused it and price actually actually reacted to the channel and went really nice hitting to our resistance yeah I know we have a stop loss right here which is broken but as you can see here we have had, we have added the stop loss because there was a really nice uh, volatility during during some hours when I place the trade okay everything went perfect we've got our uh, our plan and we've got our profit okay I I was placing the trade the stop loss somewhere around 1.72 okay somewhere around here and this was uh, 135 pips plus 120 pips we are actually at 255 pips which is really nice but it's not over yet the really big trade comes now okay same trade garley pattern same old story okay we we see a pattern and we see a channel as you can see here channel channel pattern pattern actually finishes in the channel right here all right and we should expect a reversal okay in the channel the commas blah 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 and we've got 460 pips okay i've closed the trade because a gap appeared price is gonna swing and then close the gap basically there is a gap because on sunday there was there were French elections, all right, and it affected a lot the markets, actually. As you can see, we entered here on on the pattern, stop loss of 70 pips around, perfectly inside of the stop loss, and we actually got 400 and 50 pips. I couldn't get the high SI because. Um, I was on the computer and also it was really the opening of uh, Tokyo so it was really insanely fast uh, in an insane fast drop so I, I couldn't get more pips of that but 40 460 pips is enough for me all right so in the end of the day and in the end of the week if we will do a count of every single trade I've closed, we are actually at 
715 pips in profit okay which is insane all right it is a uh, really a lot okay unfortunately not every day is like this one because in the last video you will see that i had a series of bad trades and i lost 120 pips but today we actually made them back and we made them more okay saying that i am really i am really happy to share this with you if you are really interested into learning how to trade forex just go on our site or write a comment in the video comment section and or just contact us you have everything you need to actually contact us there is everything written here you have the site you have the twitter on the site there is everything okay we also have a junior membership which is free with a code you will find on the site so if you are really interested into learning forex just check it okay Mark here from elementaryfx.com with 715 pips in profit today okay I'm really happy with that. That's everything, guys. And see ya to the next tra to the next tra trading journal video. Okay, see ya. Bye bye.